I've just uh, left Rob behind where I'll, uh, while he works a scene, I'm going to move forward and see what else I can find in, in the area. Uh, that'll go back and steal his, his, uh, his scene. Hey there, it's Rob from Tribe 74. I'm here with Andrew. Hey guys. We're uh, heading out on a nature walk. Hope you guys uh, enjoy the ride. So we need to get ourselves to a vantage point before we lose any uh, sunlight. Uh, we got really great river shots coming up. So hopefully we can get something really good for you guys. Take a look, uh, there's so much that we can do and see here. Uh, just a crazy amount of natural uh, shots and oh yeah, it's just absolutely amazing here. One of the challenges of any photography is trying to find a unique and interesting vantage point. Seen beyond the typical lookouts or the beaten path, the photographer tries to find that standout shot that captures the composition and mood while telling the story from an undiscovered point of view. We're very fortunate to have many trails and natural areas that touch the banks of this amazing river. So many opportunities for photos, video, b-reel, audio and wildlife. Our region may be rather urban, but there is a plethora of green space and nature amongst the sprawl. So I just left Rob behind. Um, he's going to take some pictures of ducks or uh, maybe some video of ducks. I'm sure he's probably going to insert it right in after this. So you'll see that here. The wonderful thing about southwestern Ontario when escaping the urbanization is that the amazing boreal forest offers so many amazing choices and you never know what you will see. The only guarantee is a mosquito bite. This particular area really paints a picture of nature and the effects of humanity. We see this beautiful and serene landscape, if you ignore the random tires sitting in the water. Nature just doing its thing, but with just a 180 degree turn, you're rewarded with a large swath of concrete cutting through the scene. Among the trees here, we've noticed a few areas marked off with caution tape. We aren't 100% sure, but we believe these areas are infested with a highly dangerous and toxic invasive plant named giant hogweed. The sap will make a person's skin extremely sensitive to sunlight and can cause severe burning and blistering. If the sap gets in your eyes, it can lead to blindness. That might be a problem for me anyway. Here, while we were setting up, a rival gang of Canadian geese rolled up on the islanders. It could get ugly up in here, so we may have to skedaddle if it gets violent. If you've ever been attacked by a Canadian goose, you know this might be nasty.
To give you a better perspective of the urban intrusion, you can see Andrew in the lower center of this shot, just 50 meters away from me, getting a perfectly natural picture. His angle will give no indication that behind him is a massive overpass, cutting a violent swath through the area. While I may have alluded to the urban landscape disturbing nature, it should also be noted that nature always finds a way. Here I've spotted rows of mud nests jammed under the bridge. These birds have adapted to the human footprint and one-upped us. These gangsters I believe are called cliff swallows. Good for you birds. Alright, uh, this is the end of our nature walk. Uh, hopefully we've got some pictures for you. We'll be uh, pasting them in as we, uh, as we see you fit. Uh, in the meantime, if you could comment and like and subscribe, especially for us sacrificing ourselves to the mosquito gods. Oh, and hit that bell icon. Yeah, don't forget the bell icon so you can get notifications of all our videos. We're going to try doing these nature walks quite regularly because like, they're fun and I think they're, they're, they'll be interesting for you. So uh, I'm Rob and this is Andrew from Tribe74. Come and check us out, tribe74.com. Cheers. <laughs>